Hey everybody, welcome back to Anchor Life with Kayla. Today I'm talking about whether I am selfish for taking time for myself and saying no to other people. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I think this is a big deal for moms, big deal for women. We often just work ourselves really hard because we have these expectations of ourselves and we always feel like we could be better or we feel like other people are expecting more from us or that we need to be able to do everything for everyone all the time. And that is something that I've been thinking about for myself lately too, especially when, you know, my husband is busy around the farm. He's a farmer and I feel like maybe I should be doing more because he's working nonstop. And then the thoughts start spiraling. Am I doing enough? Am I valued around here? And oh, it can just... So today we're going to unpack this whole thing get into it, find out the truth of what we should be thinking about instead. And before we get any further along, I wanted to ask, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you have, you know that my weekly videos are full of great advice, encouragement for women who are moms, who are married, who are dealing with everyday pressures, who wanna take care of their mental health, all this wonderful stuff. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out on all that stuff. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notifications that you never miss a video. And with that, let's keep going. Guilty. Yes, that is how I feel sometimes when I am not on the busy go, go, go. And oftentimes we tell ourselves this, that we need to be constantly go, go, go and making things happen and doing the hustle and you know, all that can really burn us out. So we need to take time and recharge so that we can keep going and enjoy what we're doing as we're doing. We thrive, not just like drag ourselves along. I'm personally choosing, making that conscious choice to not feel guilty because if I don't make that decision, it just creeps its way in. I used to feel guilty about not accepting extra work shifts when I was already feeling like I was like overdoing it and completely stressed out, but I've just felt this pressure. I need to be a team player basically because my manager at the time told me I wasn't a team player for picking up extra shifts. And so then I just had that in the back of my head on loop saying, you're not a team player. You need to be able to pick up more, even though you're technically not required to do more and you're already at the limit. Nowadays, I will feel guilty sometimes for taking one evening a week to go to a dance class, which is for me, what I love to do. It's what I do for myself. It's getting exercise in, it's fun, it's social time. And I can feel guilty when I think, okay, I was at work today and then I'm spending the evening at dance class for me. Like, what about my family? I should be at home making them supper. I should be playing with my daughter tonight. My husband, he's getting harvesting. So this is a time when it's go, go, go. And you just get her done. You gotta get those crops off the field before the rain comes or even snow, hopefully not snow anytime soon. But if I take a moment to just sit on the couch, read a book, just get a little refreshing time and I see him out the window just hustling hard, I can feel guilty about sitting around doing nothing while he's working really hard and feel like I need to be doing something, I need to be cleaning, I need to whatever so that I can also, you know, be equivalent to his level of working, if that makes any sense. The thing is that we need to take care of ourselves and we need to make that decision to do so because no one else is going to do it for you. And we need to make decisions that are the best for us based on our circumstances while still taking care of other people. I hear of people, especially on like Instagram and stuff, people are like, you need to take care of you and you need to ignore everybody else and make sure you are number one and all that kind of stuff, which I'm not going there. That's to the extreme when you don't care at all about other people and your responsibilities and you know, the people that rely on you and giving of yourself and being generous, all that stuff is so important, but we need to make sure that we're not on either side of the extreme. So not the extreme where you're giving 100% of yourself all the time and you have nothing left for yourself. And then not 100% of the time, just focused on yourself, being narcissistic, selfish. We actually wanna find a nice, happy medium somewhere where we are taking care of ourselves while also 
taking care of the people around us. And keep in mind that, you know, your boss and those other people that you're comparing yourself to who are like go, go, go all the time and seem to be able to do it all and you're comparing yourself to them thinking you're not enough and all these people that make you feel like you should be doing something, they're all adults. They can work themselves to death if they want to, but you don't have to just because they're doing that. They can deal with their own disappointment of you not picking up a shift. They can deal with their own disappointment of you saying no to something because you really don't have the capacity at that time. And we can't always be living our lives because of what we think other people expect from us. So maybe some people think I'm selfish for taking care of myself, but I know a lot of you will also connect with me in what I'm saying because you also feel like you've been burned out, you've been giving too much and you need to take care of yourself. So let me know down in the comments, what is one thing that you're gonna do in the next seven days to take care of yourself? Either saying no to something, saying yes to something that maybe you wanted to do but you didn't feel like you could do, what is it? Let me know. I want to hear from you. I am going to take a dance class after work, even when I'm feeling tired. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share it with a friend, someone who would enjoy my channel. I will see you guys soon.